Gabby Deaton is running out of space on the shelves that barely seem able to support the weight of it all. This one here um, was the first photograph I ever took. There is the father who loved Christmas the most, the mother who was a nurse for nearly 30 years, the sister with a hug that would make you feel safe, the brother who had mastered skateboarding. You know, it's not just in certain neighborhoods. Everyone remembered at Deaton's exhibit has died of a drug overdose. I think for some it is a form of healing um, to honor that person. Deaton began the Black Balloon Project in 2019, photographing the friends and family in Kentucky and Ohio left to hold their loved one's photo or ashes. I only have one spot left. Deaton takes the photos for free. She gets to know the families and their pain. For others, I think that it is a way to advocate and use their pain for strength. The two-hour drive to Covington he, he, wasn't enough time for Tammy Boblet to prepare for all the grief on display. He, he had been up here in recovery, and he had 15 months of sobriety. Her 30-year-old son, Chase, has been gone nine months. But he died of a fentanyl overdose. She hopes taking part in the project may help raise awareness to the epidemic that shows no signs of slowing. I mean, even if Chase's picture wasn't up here, just to see all the things, and I know how they feel. And while most here have never met, they share the same heartache. Deaton's gallery is as much about saving lives as honoring them. Families took home close to 80 units of Narcan. It's the same overdose reversing drug that saved Deaton's life twice. The reason that I do this is because I am here and they're over there. And I did not deserve this life any more than anybody featured in any of those photographs. Deaton is 11 years sober. She knows she'll meet more grieving families when she begins next year's project in the fall. While she's grateful she can tell their stories, she wishes she didn't have to. All of the people in these, these photos, they matter. I want to be the voice for people who didn't get the same opportunity as me. In Covington with photojournalist Jonathan Gregg, Erin Kelly, Spectrum News.